Hello, this webinar will discuss how to receive funds under an awarded grant from the State, Tribal, Local, Plans and Grants Division of the National Park Service. These instructions are only for those who have been notified that they have received a grant. Grant applicants should not follow these instructions. Grants from the State, Tribal, Local, Plans and Grants Division are reimbursable grants. Generally, this means that you have spent your own money before drawing down federal funds to pay yourself back. Working with your grant manager, you may be permitted an advance. This means that you will be drawing down federal funds to meet your immediate cash needs without having spent your own money first. For questions about this process, please work with your assigned grant manager. When you are ready to draw down funds, we use a system called the Automated Standard Application for Payments, or ASAP, to transfer money to you. It is an electronic online payment application available 24-7. Once you are awarded a grant, funds do not automatically show up in your bank you must make periodic drawdowns using ASAP to move money into your bank account. Instructions on how to draw down funds and general browser configuration requirements are available at go.nps.gov pay. For detailed questions on using ASAP, account maintenance, and user roles, please contact the ASAP Help Desk at one 855-868-0151 and follow the options on this slide. When you are ready to make a drawdown, as previously mentioned, our grants are generally reimbursement grants. You will need to have a staff member with the appropriate roles log into ASAP and make a drawdown using one of two options, either an ACH drawdown or Fedwire. You should review roles and responsibilities in ASAP with your staff to ensure an appropriate separation of duties, also called a separation of roles, and think strategically about who can do what within ASAP. For example, is it really appropriate for one person to have all the roles? How will you handle drawing down if someone is unexpectedly out of the office? When you have resolved these issues and are ready to make a payment request in ASAP, funds are pushed to your account using the ACH Automated Clearinghouse payment process or the same day Fedwire payment process previously mentioned. ACH may be more familiar to you as it is a little bit like bill pay services offered by many private banks. When you are ready to make a drawdown, you need several important pieces of information. Your username and password and appropriate privileges. Your ASAP ID, which is also called the recipient ID, which is unique to each organization. And your ASAP account ID. This will be a combination of your grant number from the Park Service and an additional four to eight alphanumeric characters. When you have made a drawdown or when you are preparing to make a drawdown, usually you can do all of this yourself without involving your grant manager. When you submit an interim or final report, you will submit a summary of drawdowns made to date. If your award has been determined high risk or high risk with agency review as defined in your grant agreement, before making an award, you may need to submit additional documentation to your grant manager. If you make a mistake and draw down too much money, you have two ways to return the funds depending on when the error is discovered. If the error is discovered within 30 days of the draw, you can essentially reverse the action using ASAP. If it is greater than 30 days since the improper draw was made, you must write a check payable to the National Park Service putting your grant number on the memo line. You should contact your grant manager before doing this 
and should not mail the check using the U.S. Postal Service because our mail is irradiated. Again, if you have general questions about enrollment, user roles, and how to make drawdowns, we have step-by-step -step instructions at go.nps.gov pay. Detailed information, including the ability to speak with an actual person, is available through the ASAP help desk number previously provided. When you are ready to move forward in the ASAP enrollment process or the ASAP drawdown process, make sure that you have thought about the separation of duties as previously mentioned. Please strongly consider creating a separate bank account just for your grant project in order to separate funds and make it easier to track incoming and outgoing costs. Make sure to consider some unexpected circumstances, like a natural disaster, and how that could impact your ability to work uh, with your staff and your bank. And also make sure that you're prepared to understand the implications of having employee changes on, on your end and staying up with usernames and passwords and roles. We look forward to working with you on your grant project. And again, more information is generally available at go.nps.gov slash pay.